Welcome back to Bitfumes. This is Bagster tutorial number four. And in this tutorial, we are going to talk about the sales and inventories. So in the second video, we have actually brought a iPhone here. So on this order list, you can see we have this order which is pending for now. And here on this sales tab, we can see we have this order which is pending. So how we can proceed with the orders? So because we have not done anything from the back end, so it is pending. But now we can see we can uh, have the information of everything related to the product. And then we can simply click on this ship. So when we click on this ship, then we need to give the details of carrier. So I want to have a FedEx carrier and then some details about tracking number and then we need to define from where from which source we are going to ship the product so it's like a inventory store so from which inventory store we are going to send the product so this is very a unique feature of bagisto which is only provided by bagisto that you can provide multiple inventory source so because we just have a default one we are going with that only so we are going to ship one product and then click on save shipment once we ship the product on the user end it's saying processing so because it is now in process then what next so first you have given the detail courier details and then you need to create the invoice so once you create click on this create invoice button then you can just fill all these things for invoicing then click on save invoice once you click on save invoice it will simply say completed then user can see here and he can see his invoice shipment details and everything so you can obviously going to create invoice once the product is delivered you can also give the refund so you can simply click on refund and then once you click on refund you need to update the quantity on your inventory also then everything else adjustment of the money and then click on refund it will going to get refunded that's cool but as i told you we have a inventory details so let's once more go to the product and click on this edit product on this edit product at the bottom we can see we have the inventory default which is nine because one we have shipped so let's go to settings and we have this inventory source and now i'm going to create another inventory source let's say i'm going to say base so simply base so it is base and you can provide all these things so name is base once more and let's say sarthak <laughs> so now we have filled all these things like country state city street and postcode then simply click on save inventory source so now we have two inventory source now click on catalog and products and then click on edit and now because we have two inventory source we can define the quantities on two different inventories so since we have already defined nine quantities on default here i'm going to say 10 so this means now we have total of 19 quantity for this product you can see which reflects here so let's say once again i'm going to buy this iphone so let's click on buy add to cart check out and then use this shipment details address details and quickly going to buy this product okay so it is now done and this means we are on this pending state yeah and now on the sales part you can simply click here so click on ship giving the detail fedex and some number and when it come to the product source we still have a default here why because on this inventory settings if we go and click on this inventory sources we have actually inactive of this inventory so this is again a great feature that you can make uh, inventory active or inactive so i will say source is active click on save this means now it is active 
once again if i click refresh this page uh, i still can't see that base inventory and that is because one more thing we need to do is the channels so you can see we have default channel on this default channel we are defining that inventory source which is just default so we need to also select this base one and after that if i click on this save button it is not saving because i think we have to fill something else also yeah meta details so channel 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 uh, just for completing this so save click on save and now we have two inventory source for this default channel now if i refresh this page yes you can see now we can choose from base also and now because we have this uh, we have item on base and we have selected that the inventory is not default it is base so default one is invalid or it says uh, disabled and base one is active so now we can ship one so if i save on this okay so this once more we need to fill and like this save shipment and yeah it is done so super easy so you have seen that how we can actually ship the product from different different inventory sources this is the unique feature of bagisto which you cannot find in any kind of e-commerce platform for laravel so this is great feature for from bagisto i'm sure you are going to love this product and you are going to like this uh, product so give it a thumbs up comment your views about bagisto on comment section like bitfumes on facebook twitter and instagram linkedin facebook and we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye